In this video, we're gonna go over how to set up custom start dates with WooCommerce subscriptions. So as an example, if I have this subscription coffee box, I wanna allow my customers to be able to choose a date when they want to start their subscription, or I could also predefine dates when a subscription may start. So this is just a learner guitar course, and I just put in, you know, four different dates that they could start. You know, this could be, you know, June 15th instead of June 1st, etc. You also could set this up so you could have start dates that are fixed delay periods. So you could do a delay period for, you know, let's say seven days or let's do one month before. So I did one month before and I updated this. I could see that they couldn't start until one month from now. So March 2nd, but that is custom start dates with WooCommerce subscriptions. And you guys can check out the link in the description box below if you want to check this out. So essentially after installing this plugin, you're going to have these options right here to set up custom start date. So if I scroll down on this simple subscription product, I can see these th these four options right here of no delay, fixed start dates, fixed delay periods, let the customer pick any dates. So one other cool thing about this is if you want to, if a customer picked a date in the future, so let's say the customer wanted to have their subscription start 15 days from now, I could charge them $0 right now and have them not be charged until their subscription starts. But I personally would keep this unchecked because uh, let me just go through an example to explain it to you guys. So let's do this and let's, let's just go through a sample checkout. So I'm going to have this start, you know, let's say February 15th. So let's start this subscription copy box then. And I can see this has been added to my cart. And if I go through the checkout, I can see that I'm going to be billed, you know, $25 plus tax today. And my first renewal is going to be on March 15th. So it will, I'm, I don't want it to start till February 15th, but I'm still being charged today on February 1st, that $25 plus tax. And then one month after February 15th, I'll be charged $25 plus tax. So this is just an example of how this works. But another example would be like this learn guitar course. So I have this learn guitar course and I come back here. Let's say I want to add, you know, these fixed start dates of, you know, March 1st, June 1st, uh, August 1st and December 1st. What I also could do is I would want to have the first payment on the start date, but I also could charge like a signup fee. So to secure their spot for my guitar courses, I don't play the guitar, but let's just say I did a signup fee of $25. You know, let's update this to 325. And if this learn guitar course is three months long and they're being charged hundred dollars a month, but $25 to reserve their spot. So I could do this and let's say someone wants to start June 1st. So they want to start June 1st. They want to sign up and let's delete this subscription coffee box. But if I go to my cart, I can see that I'm going to be charged $25 today. And then I'm going to be charged a hundred dollars for a month for three months, starting on June 1st. So that is how it would work using custom start date for WooCommerce subscriptions. If you guys got value out of this video, make sure to give me a like, give me a thumbs up. All the links can be found in the description box below. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.